about damn time. We've been wanting to Triceratops in a large scale ever since Mattel took over the Jurassic World line. Took them about five years, but we're finally here. We have a nice proper sized Triceratops for our Jurassic World collection, and I could not be happier with this thing. So yeah, this is definitely one of probably the most requested Jurassic World toys since Mattel took over a big Triceratops, and here it is, uh, fully in the flesh. Well, you know, 60% recycled plastic, that is. Uh, yeah, I am over the moon with this thing. If you watch any of my Jurassic World reviews on Triceratops figures, uh, I was constantly bitching and moaning about how small they were. Yes, the Hammond Collection one gets a pass because that's how big it appeared in the movie, but every other Triceratops has just always, always been uh way too small and Mattel finally listened to the fans and gave us this beautiful beautiful looking trike now i end up picking up this bad boy or bad girl off of amazon retails for around 42 dollars uh they're currently shipping now i'll leave a link down below in the description to amazon if you want to pick up this big beast for yourself so yeah big big trike time i am just so ecstatic about this thing now this is the habitat defender uh it is made out of 60 percent recycled plastic and i believe the packaging is in too the cardboard is also made out of recycled plastic so hey we're 60 percent saving the world and we're getting a big triceratops so it's a win-win uh for everybody maybe a little bit of a loss for uh mother nature but yeah pretty pretty cool uh, you know, it's part of the Dino Trackers line. It is from a desert binome right on the front right here. We have Make an Impact, blah, blah, blah. Recycled plastic, Jurassic World logo, spinning around. More information about all the fun recyclables thrown into this Triceratops and looking at it right there in all its glory. Such a really, really cool looking figure. They actually did this with the uh, Mosasaurus. I think the last couple of releases, uh, it was made out of recycled material, I believe. This Triceratops will eventually be taking over the shelf spot for the Mosasaurus uh, in stores. So enough about the packaging. Well, let's crack this big trike open and take a closer look. And here is the Habitat Defender Triceratops in all its glory. And this thing is just freaking cool looking. It is absolutely massive. I never thought I'd see the day that we see a Triceratops figure this big in the Jurassic World line. You know, we all can bitching pissing and moaning for years to mattel and they finally did it and boy did they deliver this thing is absolutely beautiful has excellent paint apps sculpted in detail is absolutely fantastic the articulation is serviceable remember it's not a hammock collection figure so it doesn't have you know all those you know joints for the knees and legs and ankles and elbows and whatnot but it does have an articulated mouth which was a crime that the hammock collection one did not have so yeah this thing is just absolutely great and i just love it can't wait to display it next to my hammock collection t-rex because, you know, just the perception that the general public has had with these toys is that T-Rex is this giant monster. And it's this little itty bitty Triceratops. Triceratops was just freaking huge. And it would have definitely been a chore for an adult transfer to take down one of these big animals. Now, time for some measurements. This monster is 17 inches long from the tip of the tail to the tip of the beak, or 43.2 centimeters. 7 inches tall to the top of the frill or 17.8 centimeters. So Triceratops in real life was 26 to 30 feet long or 8 to 9 meters. So I put this figure nicely in that 118 to 121 scale range. And it finally fits in with most of the Jurassic World and the Hammond Collection line. You know, the line is loosely in that 118 scale range. And this guy fits into it perfectly. It just feels so nice to have a nice proportionately sized Triceratops finally. And now let's zoom in and take a look at some of the finer details on this figure, starting with this beautiful, accurate Jurassic Park 1 Triceratops head sculpt. This thing is just decked out in so much detail. Look at all the sculpted detail all over the frill. It's all cast in this dark brown color, but you have a nice uh, transition of this darker brown at the edge of the frill. All the ornamentation on the frill is all decked out in a very light brown paint. Same thing with the brow horns and the nose horn, all decked out in that light brown paint. You see all the nice cracks sculpted in on the horns nose horns nicely done beak is the same thing in that light brown plastic eyes are almost an orange color um they do the thing i don't like uh what they do with the eyes sometimes uh they don't paint the pupil in that's just the base plastic showing underneath there it's really not that bad on the triceratops and some figures uh like the uh, savage strike trolley with the green it just looks bad this is okay i'll give them a pass on that 
and then going down through the beak right here you can open up the mouth look at that it opens up look how cute that looks we have a nice little pink tongue in there and here's a view of the beak from the top on the other side of the figure we do have all this nice light brown coloration for the underside uh, when you get to the body right here this is actually a separate piece you can see the seam lines uh, along the uh, sides of the body where this is just a plastic insert going down to the back you know, all these large osteoderms painted a lighter brown color than the dark uh, brown base plastic just all, all that nice nice scale detail it's been nice that the ones on the arms are painted in because the ones on the thighs are but you know what uh i really have not much to complain about this figure it's just so so good looking and then going down to the toes the toes now those aren't painted in those are actually inserts and i think those look absolutely great they're just a little bit of a darker brown than the rest of the body nice glossy paint on that same thing for the hind feet and then going down to the tail with a nice thick uh muscular looking tail lots of folds and wrinkles I and mean, this thing just looks great from top to bottom they did such a good job on this monster of a figure and let's get the camera to focus in on this big beast and i'm going to stretch the legs out so we can lower it a little bit so we can pop out the scan tag for those who want to scan it into the fax app so yeah this thing is just so freaking cool i am just so excited reviewing this thing because it's just it's just freaking great now for articulation we already did the mount but let's do it again mount can open up that way and it can close kind of flush still have a little bit of a gap in there and then for the neck you do have downwards and upwards movement and full rotation to see you can get some nice side the side movement on that joint and up and downward movement the downward movement is really really nice on this figure and then going down to the legs front legs to move forwards and backwards hind legs backwards about that far before it hits the side of the tail and forwards that far you can actually see there's like an indentation right here to stop the legs from going all the way forward but it's triceratops doesn't really need that much leg movement and then going down to the tail we have a tail that is on a ball joint you get all nice motion out of that tail so yeah articulation you know it's still basic but it actually works for the species of dinosaurs and i am quite quite happy with it moving on with comparisons first up here it is with the hammock collection dr alan grant gonna use grant for the comparison because when he was growing up triceratops was always his favorite and next up let's do some itty bitty triceratops from mattel's past here is the hammock collection one you know, they, they both sport very uh, you know, similar color schemes. I actually think this habitat kind of looks much better than the Hammond Collection one, except for the horns. The horns, they did a much, really nice job on it. And like I said, you know, I bitched about the size of the Hammond Collection one, but, you know, that's the size that appeared in the movie. It's just, there was no excuse not to give this thing mouth articulation. Look how simple of articulation it has on this Triceratops. They could 100% done it on the Hammond Collection. Still no excuse for that. And let's pull out another Triceratops. This Triceratops mold uh, has definitely been, you know, banged more than a ditto in a daycare. They use this mold a lot. And you can just see the size difference and why we were complaining so much that we needed a bigger trike. They released other Ceratopsian figures that were bigger than Triceratops. Triceratops and Taurosaurus are among the largest Ceratopsians. So there's really no excuse for them. Just keep going down this road and give us these, you know, half size Triceratops. And next up, here's the other big boy tripe on the block. It finally has some company with the Mattel one. This is the Beast of the Mesozoic Triceratops. And both figures are pretty much exactly the same size. Uh, the Mattel one is only like an inch or two longer because it does have a longer tail. Let's just turn them to the side so you can see that it's a much shorter tail, much longer tail. Let's put them next to each other. Uh, both are great figures. Obviously, the Mattel one costs a fraction of, I think, fraction of price. This one, like I said, 42 uh, this one's 840 so it's a hundred dollar difference but you know it, it's apples and oranges this thing uh probably made with like five times more plastic and you know more intricate sculpting and paint application plus it's scientifically accurate but hey it's pretty cool to have trike figures uh this big in our collection and next up here is with some other mattel ceratops things we have the pseudoceratops pentaceratops and diablo ceratops finally the trike you know feels right being displayed against these other metallic ceratops things. everything looks nice and proportionate now they're all not in scale with each other but with the trike being so big it does look much better and next up here it is with the dino tracker in dominus rex and uh 
think the Indominus would have a little trouble taking down this trike. I know they made this unstoppable killing machine uh, in the movies, but I think this trike could have gave this thing a run for its money. And lastly, the only comparison that matters here it is with the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex. And these two look absolutely great next to each other. This is pretty much you know, what Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Rex would look like size-wise uh, in real life. And like I said, the Triceratops was not an easy animal uh, for Rex to take down. So yeah, it's finally nice to have you know the epic battle of Triceratops versus T-Rex in our Jurassic World collection where it's all nice and proportionate. So weird that we never actually got to see these two square off in the movies other than in the Telltale game. But now we can recreate all that fun dinosaur carnage on our shelves with these two figures so final thoughts on the habitat defender triceratops absolutely love this thing mattel did an absolute knockout job with this figure it's something we've been wanting they listen and they delivered i have no complaints about this figure you know other than i wish it was a hammer collection release does have that extra articulation but you know for the mobility of a triceratops these basic articulation with the mouth articulation works really well in this figure i think a lot of people are going to be very very happy with the triceratops now we'll see down the road if they decide to do taurosaurus and hopefully if they do uh they make it the size uh of this triceratops so yeah this thing is great you know it took five years for it to actually happen and now we can just rest easy that we finally have the triceratops we deserve for our jurassic world collections now, like I said at the beginning of the review, got this off of Amazon. The link is down below in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. So that will do it for the review. I got the Human Collection Brachiosaurus coming in. Uh, more PNS, so Holland God. It's just, just a lot of stuff coming in. So uh, I'm almost done moving, so I should get back to you know releasing reviews much more quickly uh, than I've been the last like couple of months. I just had a lot of, a lot of work going on at the other house. So uh, stay tuned for all that. And as always, if you're enjoying the content on the channel, Show your support by hitting the subscription button just below the video. Each subscription helps out the channel tremendously. It's greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys for the next one.